When it comes to Komodo dragons, there's a whole world left to discover. So are you ready for the ultimate shock? Uncover the mind-blowing secrets of Komodo dragons that will leave you speechless. From their incredible strength to their incredible abilities, these majestic beasts have a dark side you never knew existed. Trust us, you don't want to miss out on this exclusive reveal of the most shocking facts about Komodo dragons, so stay tuned. First up, did you know that Komodo dragons dig up corpses? Komodo dragons, the majestic beasts of Indonesia's Komodo Island, are known for their impressive size and strength. But beneath the surface lies a dark secret that will leave you speechless. These creatures, known as the grave robbers of the island, have a keen sense of smell that can detect a dead body from miles away. They're not known for their hunting for their food, but instead for consuming a large number of carcasses. Sadly, for the humans who live among the dragons, this means they pose a threat to recently laid to rest people. Because of their proclivity for grave robbery, the Komodo people have ceased burying their dead in sandy ground and now only bury deceased loved ones in clay soil. For good measure, they'll often stack rocks on top of the resting place. But it's not just the dead that the Komodo dragons target, they also scavenge on the living. They have been known to sneak into the villages at night and steal chickens, goats, and even dogs. Speaking of menu choices, let's Let's talk about that appetite of theirs. You won't believe how much a Komodo dragon can eat. These lizards can consume up to 80% of their body mass at one time, making them some of the most efficient eaters in the animal kingdom. But how do they do it? Large meals and slow digestion cause Komodo dragons to bask in the sun after eating. The heat facilitates their digestion process. They'll throw up what's known as a gastric pellet after digesting. A gastric pellet, like an owl pellet, contains horns, hair teeth, and other pieces of the prey that cannot be digested. Their metabolism is relatively slow, which means they can survive on one meal a month. This is why the Komodo dragons are considered one of the apex predators on the island. They have no natural predators and can survive for long periods of time without food. Next up is something that'll shock you. Did you know that these beasts are deadly poisonous? You know, for a long time, we thought that the amount of germs in their mouth was what made the Komodo dragons bite so deadly. I mean, they're scavengers after all, and are always eating rotting flesh that would infect and kill any victim. But can you believe it? In 2009, a venom researcher at Australia's University of Melbourne discovered that these giant lizards are actually one of the world's few venomous lizards. It's not like a snake that injects venom through its fangs. The venom of the Komodo dragon leeches into large wounds on its prey. What's worse is even if the victim manages to flee, the venom is lethal and will eventually kill it. And the spooky part about it is that with their keen sense of smell, the Komodo dragon can follow its dying victims, making them one of the most efficient predators on the island. That being said, you better stay away because these beasts can put up a fight. They can take down almost anything and anyone. Komodo dragons are not your typical lizards. They are giant beasts capable of taking down animals as large as a wild boar, deer, and even water buffalo with ease. But it gets even more shocking. They were even able to take down now extinct dwarfed elephants during the Pleistocene Epoch. Can you even imagine that? These massive lizards use an ambush strategy to capture their prey and are experts at blending in with their surroundings, waiting for an unsuspecting animal to pass by before sprinting into action and delivering a venomous bite that can take down even the largest of animals. Those dragons are truly the stuff of nightmares. And the next time you see one, remember, it's not just a lizard. It's a killing machine. What's more, they're pretty much indestructible. Their skin is like a knight's armor. You can't get past it. What you need to know about their skin is it's not just tough, it's made of thousands of tiny bones. These bone deposits, known as osteoderms, form over the course of the dragon's life, creating an armor-like barrier and protecting them from any threat. But why would you need such armor? As apex predators, you'd think that these giant lizards wouldn't need much protection from other animals. The answer will blow you away. So here's the chilling truth. Komodo dragons will attack and kill anything in their way. This includes members of their own family. That's right, they need that armor-like skin for protection from their own kind. Of course, they're their own worst enemies. We'd expect nothing less from these beasts. They are ruthless and fierce and will stop at nothing to survive. Imagine being face to face with a creature whose skin is made of a thousand tiny bones, ready to defend itself 
at any cost. That's the stuff of nightmares. And did you know that these beasts are far more agile than you'd expect? They are not your average reptile. No. In fact, they're quite the rare exception. Thanks to a genetic adaptation from when the animal's genome was sequenced, scientists discovered that these beasts can achieve a mammalian-like metabolism, which is a plus point for when they're scavenging prey. Imagine having the power of a mammal in a reptile's body. It's like a superhero in disguise. The research revealed changes involving mitochondria, the cell's power generators, which allow the dragons to absorb nutrients and provide fuel for their cells, especially for their muscle cells, giving them extraordinary bursts of speed and stamina. Can you believe it? A Komodo dragon can reach 13 miles per hour in a sprint, which is faster than most of us can run. So you really wouldn't want to be caught up in a game of cat and mouse with these guys. That was shocking. But let's talk about something absolutely crazy. Komodo dragons can reproduce asexually. You heard that right. No need for the birds and the bees for these beasts. Prepare to have your mind blown, folks. As if the Komodo dragons weren't already straight out of Jurassic Park with their massive size, venomous bite, and superhuman abilities, their reproductive behavior is just as shocking. Researchers confirmed in 2006 that these ancient beasts can procreate asexually via a process known as parthenogenesis. That's right, just like in the movie, these females can lay viable clutches of eggs when no males are present. Female dragons from two different London zoos, both kept in solitary confinement, supplied eggs for genetic analysis, which revealed no evidence of male fertilization. In fact, the female dragon served as both mommy and daddy during conception. Parthenogenesis occurs in approximately 70 species worldwide, yet this was the first time it was proven in Komodo dragons. It's like science fiction becoming science fact. These ancient creatures are truly a marvel of nature, and the more we learn about them, the more we realize how little we actually know. But that's not all. They might be able to make babies as single parents, but that doesn't mean that they can show any ounce of affection towards them. Actually, it's quite the opposite, because sometimes they're caught eating their own babies. They will occasionally feed on hatchlings of their own species, usually when there isn't enough food available. This is why the poor baby Komodo dragon spends so much time in trees. They have claws for it, but sadly, Sadly, they grow too heavy to climb over time, putting them at risk. According to the Smithsonian National Zoo, young Komodo dragons frequently roll in poop to assume a scent that the large dragons are programmed to avoid. This is a survival strategy to avoid being cannibalized by the adults, but it's not only the young that are at risk. Hatchlings are reported to account for 10% of adult Komodo dragon diets. The Komodo dragon is a creature of many surprises, and their teeth are just one of them. With 60 teeth, they have the most of any reptile, and they are commonly compared to those of sharks due to their razor sharpness and unique serrated anatomy that allows them to to cut through flesh with ease. These teeth are also important in their capacity to poison their prey. But if you've ever witnessed a Komodo dragon with its big, scary mouth open, you might be wondering where these infamous teeth are. Their gums are so thick that they create a toothless appearance. But don't be fooled, a Komodo dragon can kill almost any animal with a single bite. But wait, there's more. These ancient beasts have a softer side to their fearsome, cannibalistic, grave-robbing reputation. They've been seen playing with shovels, shoes, and even even frisbees in captivity. The way they interact with the items is free of aggressive behavior or food motivation and so qualifies as play. Just watching a Komodo dragon participate in a friendly game of tug of war may make the killer lizard seem endearing. And there you have it, the shocking secrets of the Komodo dragon. From venom to cannibalism, these ancient predators are truly unique. Thanks for tuning in.